Hey everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today what I thought we would go over is my koi goldfish. They've been kind of hibernating inside my house while I make my pond. And I am in the middle of making my pond. I'm so excited. So, I'm going to show you, I'm, I just changed the water again. Their temperature has come up to about 65 degrees now. It's been very gradual, very, very gradual over the last, I'd say, three weeks, two weeks, three weeks. And so now I'm building my pond. I'm going to get that cycled. They're going to live outside for the rest of their lives. Hopefully everything goes well. So I'm not in a hurry to get them outside. I'm more concerned with building this pond. And that's another video. I got it. I'm watching all these videos, I'm talking to some people, but I still don't quite get the whole how, where to place the waterfall versus the skimmer, how high up, how down, level. Anyway, I'll show that in another video. Um, but we did get the whole pond dug out. I bought the underlayment and the liner. I don't have any rocks yet, so there's not much I can do without rocks. Um, I have to go in and level off the different tiers that were created. My kids helped tremendously. They did like the whole thing. I started, I got so hot and so tired, and they all kicked in. I'm so impressed with that. All right, I'm taking a water break because it's very hot out here. Um, Kyle, Amy, Colleen, like, mm, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, um, they look like they're getting hungry again. Let me show you. I'm going to put this on the ground. It's not a very pretty tank. But it was functional. Let me see, take this red light off a little bit. Can you still see the fish? Oh, there we go. So I, I had uh, a couple koi last year that were just little bitty babies. Where you little bitty babies. And I was camping and got some feeder fish, feeder goldfish, and I was using them in my aquaponic system. So this is the result of that. Um, I also had some feeder fish that I kind of rescued. They were pathetic in the store and I quarantined them and this is about eight months after quarantine. So they're all looking very good. I did lose two out of it and they've all had medication but that was when I first got them. And for this past winter I kind of winterized them in here it's pretty cool in my basement. It's perfect for my axolotls and these guys. And now I'm just starting to crank up the temperature one degree, maybe every other day, getting it up. They're swimming around now, and, and I'm going to start feeding them the regular food very slowly. So this is their food that I normally feed them. It's the first ingredient is meat. You know, it's got the salmon, whole salmon, whole herring, whole shrimp then wheat flour. Um, so it would almost be like the opposite proportion when they are getting ready to hibernate. Here we go. So just so in case I didn't point it out before, I do have extra biomedia in here. I always have extra biomedia in here. I've got one, two, three sponge filters, a hang on the back filter. I changed their water quite often. I kept it very cool. Now it's, it's starting to get the same as the axolotls, about 62, 63. So it's getting better getting better hi baby I can't wait to see you swimming in your new home the bottom tier of the pond is the size of this 40 breeder and then it goes up two more tiers oh my gosh they're gonna be so excited I want to say it's turned out to be about 2200 gallons so they're gonna be in heaven so that is my Tuesday's tank because I probably won't be featuring my goldfish or koi in a tank anymore next time you'll see them they'll be getting into going into my pond Thanks for watching, everybody.